hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl theo and consola thank you for coming back and thank you for tuning into this video today we'll be making a video as to how to secure your accommodation in canada as an international student accommodation is a tough thing and i know this was like one of the most requested topic in my previous video if you haven't seen my previous video you could go um, i would think i'll put it somewhere the link somewhere to to see um, that video because that video does answer a couple of questions that you might have um, as an international student looking to come into Canada anyways uh, without further ado let's get right into this video it's gonna be a get ready with me video I mean I'm always rushing to get out of the door so this is no different I am actually always <laughs> rushing today to get out of the door so you're gonna be getting ready with me while I tell you guys how to secure an accommodation okay all right let's go hmm accommodation is a very serious topic here and a lot of people um like struggle with it because honestly it's not easy getting an accommodation here especially in my city where it's like be small and like there's not a lot of rental properties to accommodate all the students here so it's quite scarce and it's quite hard to be able to see a property here and then when you see such property it's like extremely like overly priced the way i was able to get mine was because i was quite sick like i i was like on facebook day and night looking for an apartment because I knew I couldn't sleep in the streets, right? Like, I had to, I had to look for an apartment. So, uh, I got mine on Facebook, and it wasn't through Facebook Marketplace; it was through Facebook groups. So, what I did was I joined a couple of groups that were like for. I think here it's quite common to have. I think everywhere actually. It's quite common to have groups for different locations right even in nigeria i was in a couple of groups that were um tailored to my city and my like locality right here it's no different so what do you do you go on those groups you join those groups right and then you be a part of like the community answer a couple of questions if you can um help a couple of people if you can and the likes so i joined my group i was quite active on that group honestly i was always <laughs> i was always like commenting and stuff like that so uh when it was drawing closer to when i needed my accommodation because i started looking for my accommodation like a month before coming and the reason why i did this is because honestly looking for accommodation two months before to me it's does it a month like seems like a crunch but it's easier to get within a month than for than two months and because most people right those people plan themselves ahead that okay they're going to be leaving here soon so why not they are it's not like you would not get but it's harder to get more options when you're planning like way ahead like a month like three months or you know three months or like Two weeks ahead of time like three months or like two months ahead of time it just seems too far because if you do get a property most of them will want you to start being in that property for like the next month so anyways i started looking for my accommodation like a month before and i was focused on facebook as actually i started with kijiji but i realized that kijiji was just not the place for me a lot of people say oh go to kijiji you know you'll get something yeah you would sit a couple of distance but the issue with kijiji is you wouldn't be able to like when you mail those people they don't get back to you and it's so frustrating so what's the point right i decided not to stress myself with kijiji anymore and i decided to focus on facebook I was on groups and I joined this group and what I did was I was active in the group and then I decided to ask and I just put the post in the group and the next day I got like two properties. <laughs> 
so I got two options and then I chose this place I am I was I am in now because I have finalized with this lady already before the second person sent me a message so I gave the other apartments to my friend who is still staying in that apartment so now how does God work <laughs> okay so yeah I did that that was how I got my apartment so I used it was through the help of Facebook group so now I'm going to be telling you how to get your own apartment ways to explore to get your apartment okay number one use Facebook marketplace um, Facebook marketplace is a fantastic resource I mean it's like the best thing since sliced bread <laughs> so use Facebook marketplace it's quite helpful it's really helpful honestly like you get to see a lot of options you get to see how like how much you should be budgeting you should be looking to, towards getting what you want like getting the property that you want you get to see all that on Facebook marketplace and um one thing that i loved with that too was that with facebook marketplace so i i what i did was i changed my location if you don't know how to do that on facebook just google how to change your location on facebook marketplace you should be able to see youtube videos on that i changed my my location right to my city and then i started looking for so whenever i saw a property what i'll do is i'll send the person i'll not i'll not be able to start a conversation on facebook because facebook bounces that i don't know how, maybe it's, they don't do that anymore but like when i was doing it i couldn't start a conversation by like you know when you go on facebook you want to you want to buy something she'll send an offer or something like that i couldn't do that so what i did was i added them on facebook as friends and then I sent them a private message as regards the listing. Or I just sent them a private message. That was how I was able to get a, a couple of quotes. At least people were responding instantly to that one than um, sending it on Kijiji. So Facebook Marketplaces there is an amazing resource that you should definitely, definitely take advantage of if you're coming here while you're on facebook marketplace you should be very careful because there are a lot of scammers there and anybody that tells you you have to pay a certain fee or something before you can come in or check the house or something be wary of that person i'm not saying that my that person is a scammer but there's a likelihood of that because though here it is common for you to pay a security deposit i didn't pay one but most houses or most houses that my friends are in they did pay one so it's common for you to pay security security deposit but before you pay any money or before you pay any security deposit make sure that you are sure that that house is legit just make sure that you're sure that it's legit if it's not if you are not sure that it's legit just drop it the second way to get your accommodation was the way i used which was through facebook groups facebook groups are so amazing like till now i'm still in a lot of facebook groups i mean it's an amazing community of people who who just want to help you honestly the post i put there was like my second or third post putting it in that group just join a couple of groups in your city um like when you type the name of your city just you take it to groups and then you see a couple of groups uh, join like as much as you can honestly and then once you're once you join these groups you can then ask them about your issue or your situation don't give up like just with few attempts you have to be persistent i mean when you want something right you go for you go after it full force you have to be persistent keep putting your thing out there in the group join as much group as groups as possible if that group does not answer you ask it in as much groups as possible see before you know it you get houses you get people like reaching out to you as regards houses so it's a great like i can't overemphasize how how useful those things are right i can't really overemphasize how useful they are then on my the last thing on my list is use of your school's website 
I don't know for most all the schools, but I do know that my school did have like a resource, like a page on their websites as to how to as to housing links, like properties listed there. So houses that were listed in my school's website were quite they were legit and um you can all like the agents are verified by the school so that's like an extra layer of security and if you are unsure as to whether you should go ahead to pay the um security fee so security fee is like a fee that you drop here telling them that in case like you spoil anything they'll not refund your security fee back to you they'll just, like it's just like a payment of future damages <laughs> But in a situation where you don't have, like you're not dealing with an agent that is from the school, try and get someone that is in that city to help you take a look at it. I mean, you're in the group. You can as well just um, put it up there in the group saying that, oh, please, you're looking for someone that can help you look at a property before you go ahead to purchase that property. You know, it's just a way to, just like an extra layer of security, like I said. And you find people that uh, would be in that group that would actually help you go look at that property. I mean, Facebook groups are amazing. Also, while you're looking for your house, be patient. Don't um, rush or don't be anxious. Just do your best to get an apartment. If you have like people already in that place you're going to, you can ask them for help to help you see, like post it in their groups. Because for me, in my city there's like a group for students who are already here and some people do post apartments in those groups as well so you could tell them that they should please help you post that you're looking for an apartment for in those kind of groups so that that way if someone posts something they can either forward it to you or people that do have an apartment can actually um, you can actually tap into that you know for me if i were to advise i would say groups should be your go-to i mean it's proven for me it's worked out for me so there's a high possibility it's going to work out for you and the fact that like with groups you can you can like still ask them in case you see an apartment somewhere you can still ask them to help you like check and um, people in the group can tell you oh okay no worries i'll help you check i would only recommend facebook Facebook groups and your school's websites those are the ones that are tested and trusted to my knowledge so yeah I think those are the tips uh, I'm gonna try to come back and round up this video I hope you guys learned something <laughs> because it's like one of the most chaotic videos ever <laughs> Hi guys thank you for staying to this part of the video really love and appreciate you guys um, if you have any questions or you would like me to elaborate further do not forget to give me a comment i'm always in my comments and i always respond to your questions i'll be more than happy to respond to your comments and yeah so let me know guys if you like to see any kind of videos from me drop it in the comments i'm always there i would respond adequately and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to like share subscribe and um turn on the notification bell so whenever i post a video you're very much aware um yeah thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video bye